Clear. All right. So the first thing, guys, notice the side of the box. There's no black fragments or anything like that. That's my bullet impact right there. Looks like maybe a tiny uh, little piece of fragmentation might have popped out right there. It's smaller than the, the whole of the impact. I'll plate apart here and take a look. So this is your bullet impact right here. I'll peel this sticker back. So it looks like maybe a tiny little piece of fragmentation might have got out right there. But at the end of the day, guys, definitely nothing that's lethal. Uh, definitely something smaller, significantly smaller than um, the bullet itself. But you can see that the bulk of that um, projectile is still trapped behind that coating. I'm going ahead and turn this over. Guys, that's not a penetration. That's a core test sample point. Um, and uh, that's there intentionally. So um, there you go. That's uh, M855 at a 45 degree angle. Clear. Alright, so a little blow out there on the front for sure. You can see your bullet impact right there. Um, again, looks like the coating split a little bit right there and we got maybe a piece of the jacket that came back out. Um, but again, nothing here. So. If we are at 60 degrees, guys, and that hit, you're still not getting anything over here, which is where your arms would be, right? If your arms are in front of your carrier and you're drawn out, none of this has got any fragmentation on it. And again, for the most part, guys, anything that did come out is definitely less than lethal, um, and it's still doing a good job of encapsulating the coating. Again, no penetration on the back side. We wouldn't expect that M855 would go through this plate. So. All right, guys, Joe here again with Steel Ops. Wanted to do a little desktop follow-up to the test video that we just did on our Pro Plate, or I'm sorry, our XP Pro Plate. Um, this shot was at 45 degrees. Um, this shot was at 60 degrees. What I want to do is go over some of the math with you guys on, on these two shots and explain why um, the 60 degree one could be getting a little bit into the realm of being um, unrealistic, but um, we let me start by saying that we understand why guys want to know how these plates perform at an angle. Um, we've done these tests before. Uh, just because we don't post a video of them online doesn't mean that we haven't done them before. So try to keep that in mind whether you're looking at our armor or anybody else's armor for that matter. Um, just because there's not a video doesn't mean that the test hasn't happened and doesn't mean that the plate's not sufficient. So always do your research. Um, in terms of this plate, uh, what we've done here is sort of some math for you guys so that you can kind of see what's happening when a plate is sitting, you know, if it's sitting at 90 degrees to the camera, right, and somebody is standing at 45 degrees off to the side, guys, that's 7 foot 7 and 7 eighths to the left. So um, that's at a 45 degree angle. That's how far, if you drew a straight line, how far to the left somebody would have to be standing or to the right. Uh, to be at a 45 degree angle. Additionally, guys, when a plate is sitting at a 45 degree angle, this plate is, as it's facing you right now, is 10 inches wide. At a 45 degree angle, guys, that distance changes as it's, the, the overall width of that plate as it's facing you changes. At a 45 degree angle, that changes to seven and one eighth. So you've lost almost three inches of uh, basically coverage area there just by it being at a 45 degree angle. If we go out to 60, guys, um, it gets even worse. So I'll hold this diagram up. In order, at a 10-foot distance, in order for somebody to be at 60 degrees, they would actually have to be 10 feet to the left or right of you in order to get to 60 degrees. And when you're at 60 degrees, the, the overall visual surface area of that plate shrinks down to five inches. You've lost half of the actual surface area of that plate 
by being at that uh, by being at that angle. So that's important to understand. At a 60 degree angle, guys, your head presents a larger target than the plate. So um, the other thing to keep in mind, guys, your tactics need to change when you're wearing body armor. Um, you don't clear a corner, you don't enter a room like this, right? Um, and I understand that somebody could be there and you don't know that, but you need to change your tactics at that point, not your body armor. And what we've done here is drawn up sort of a diagram of a standard room. Um, your average room is 10 by 12, or, or I'm sorry, is 11 by 12. And I'll hold this up just so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Um, so if this is your doorway here, all right, and you're entering the room, this would be somebody standing at a 45 degree angle that's 10 feet away. We're maintaining that 10 foot distance. At 60 degrees, guys, he's way over here. So if, <laughs> to be honest with you, you don't just walk into a room without checking your corners. That's what you always do. Before you enter a room, you check your corners. There's a basic... Uh, tactic for doing that and it's called pieing your you know pieing around a corner some guys believe in it some guys don't at the end of the day generally speaking that's still what you want to do and it's for two reasons one you're in a good athletic position you can move left to right and two your body armor is presented 90 degrees to a threat so it's important to understand guys that body armor is not designed to make you bulletproof it's simply there to increase your survivability and it's only as good as the tactics that you use to implement it. So if you're using bad tactics, it doesn't matter whether you're wearing a steel plate, a ceramic plate, a composite plate, whether it's 10 inches wide, 14 inches wide. Guys, at 60 degrees, you've made a tactical error. You failed to clear a corner. And if you're getting shot, bad things are probably going to happen. Your plate is probably the least of your concern at that point. You're probably going to take a shot in the side or the head. And another important thing to understand about somebody being in a room this size at a 60 degree angle is that their body and their gun present a thickness. You can't, with your back against this wall, to be at 60 degrees, the muzzle of your gun is going to be at 7 foot 1 and 3 quarter. That's only 7 feet away, guys. At 7 feet, some, a, a, a poor shooter could probably make a headshot at 7 feet. It's just, uh, that's really close. So... Those are all important things to understand, and we are not here to say that our armor is the end-all, be-all of armor, and any armor company that does say that should be questioned. So, But based on the test results that we got here, guys, um, none of your arms got hit, your partner didn't get hit. I really don't know why your partner would ever be standing to the side of you. Usually your partner is standing behind you, um, or you're standing behind somebody else, but if that's not the case, even they didn't get hit. Um, your family member, or whatever the case. As you can see in that video, none of that box um, had been hit with fragmentation. So um, this is actually a pretty good test result. We've gotten better before, but what we also wanted to show you here today is that we don't cherry pick our results. Um, we've gotten better test results in the past on some of our, our other shots, um, as, even with 62 grain steel core 556, but this is the test result we got today. And it's still good, guys. Nobody got hurt. Nobody's going to the hospital. You're still in the fight. And that's more or less what we wanted to uh, present to you today. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Um, if you guys ever have any questions or you want to know about other tests that we've done, you can always reach out to us by email. Um, again, these plates are available online at shopsteelops.com. Or you can call our uh, customer service line, which is 970 215-6969. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.